Oh, my name is uh, Ravi Kumar, uh, Assistant Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering, Saidar so Technology. Today, I am teaching you uh, the clutch. Okay, clutches. Okay, so what is uh, clutch? So definition of clutch. So is a mechanical device which provide a transmission of power from one component to other component, like driving member to driven member. What is the use of clutch? So it's use of whenever ability uh, ability to limit the transmission of power. Okay, you have to limit the transmission of power or you have to control the most speed of the engine. So that is why you are going to use the clutch. Okay, so what are the types of clutch? So types of clutch will be having a friction clutch. So friction clutch means there is a friction caused between the two rotating surfaces. Okay, next uh, dry uh, dry friction clutches. There are uh, cone clutch, single plate, multi plate, semi circuit centrifugal clutch and centrifugal clutch and the other one is a fluid flywheel is very important so fluid fly is energy transfer taking place between the two rotor in the with by means of fluids okay any fluid okay. So next principle of uh, friction clutches so principle of friction clutch i'll explain with a deep diagram okay so this is a, uh, a friction clutch okay you will be having a two different shaft one is a driving shaft other one is a driven shaft okay driven disc is attached to a driving driven shaft and driving disc attached to a driving shaft okay and uh, in between uh, you're going to place one frictional plate so this frictional plate is covered with a frictional uh, lining okay and these are attached to the springs okay and these two are called as a uh, pressure plates okay so uh, okay so if you you know uh, uh, if you uh, if this two are contact with each and this frictional plate is attached to any one driven shaft okay it may be driven shaft or it may be driving shaft so this frictional plate is attached to a driven shaft okay so when these two are engages each other there is a power transmission from driving shaft to driven shaft okay if you want to interrupt this if you want to interrupt this you you know you need to take away yeah, the driving shaft you need to take away uh, from the uh, attachment so you need to create a hair gap between these two so that is how you can engage disengage the things and what are the thing you know what are the uh, properties are very important here so there are very important things is one is a, a coefficient of friction and what are the uh, loads you are applying and the next is radius and these are the very important if you increase these thing the torque is transmission is increases okay and uh, this uh, rotation you know this shaft will be rotated parallel to the each other okay so this is the uh, friction uh, principle of friction clutch so next what is how it is operates okay so you uh, are uh, uh, operating with the help of uh, you know what one second see, i'll explain with the help of diagram so this is operation of uh, clutch see if you press the pedal if you press the pedal the clutch operation mechanism pull or push push the you know uh, clutch lever it may be pork a liver or it may be pork if it is pork uh, moves the you see if you press here if you press here this roller bearing is you know release the bearing bearing is released bearing is released over the diaphragm springs so this diaphragm springs are attached to a frictional plates if you press here there is a disengage between a frictional plate and this frictional plate and clutch disc if it is disengages again the frictional plate is disengaged is with the help of a flywheel so this is the uh, you know clutch uh, operation okay so if you press here there is a pressure is applied on the bearings so this release the bearings will be press the diaphragm spring if you press the diaphragm springs this pressure plate will be released with from the clutch disc again if the pressure plate is released again clutch plate is released from the flywheel if it is released so the engine shaft and transmission input shaft will be run frequently without the clutch disc will run okay so if you press here so your you know clutch plate will not run only transmission shaft and engine crankshaft will run okay so what are the requirements of the clutch so there are many requirements one is you have to increase the maximum torque and you have to avoid a sudden jerk and you have to reduce the noise and you have to reduce the damp vibration and you have to maintain a balanced dynamic balanced equations okay and a large amount of heat is generated that has to be dissipated during the clutch operation okay and it should have a longer life okay the the gearing operation should be uh, gearing operation should be smoother enough if it is smooth enough so it will run longer life and trouble free okay and it can inspect and the, the clutch can inspect and adjust it can able to repair okay and these are the requirements of clutches
okay so what are the advantage advantage and disadvantage see advantage is very simple uh, you can replace that uh, uh, clutch because it is uh, placed outside the engine outside the casing of bike okay in case of bike it is placed outside okay oil does not need to circulate for the clutch so which ultimately eliminate the reduction of losses in the horsepower during the oil circulation in the clutch so and that is this is the biggest advantage we're going to use a motor gp car racing because of this we're going to use more this clutch in a motor gp car racing and uh, you can use a friction modified oil in engines and it is very easier to use what is a disadvantage so disadvantage is, is a tendency to grab during engagement which makes it takes up difficult task okay and then uh, the clutch is overheated so if it is overheated it will wear fast and because of this the life of the clutch is very less and uh, efficiency and uh, you know uh, smooth operation will not be possible okay so these are the advantage and disadvantage of this so what is a cone clutch see cone clutch it is in the form of cone okay so here uh, you can uh, you know you can observe here so you have a one uh, driven driver uh, this is a driver one and this is a driven one so driven you call it as a male and driver we call it as a female okay so here the male cone is attached is fully fitted inside the female cone with the help of free with the help of springs okay this is completely contact with the female cone so if it is completely contact with the female cone then frictional surface is attached so that the clutch is engaged so this is happened with the help of springs okay and once it is engaged in a, uh, and and this angle the cone angle should be smaller uh, if it, uh, it should be smaller than 20 degree okay so the, you know this is the, the cone clutch okay see in engaged position the torque is transmitted from engine to flywheel again same in engaged position the torque is transmitted from engine flywheel and male cone to a gearbox okay so what are the advantages and disadvantages we'll see here see uh, uh, yeah advantage advantage is you know it is a it, the, you know the advantage of cone clutch is normally forces acting on the contact surface that is a one advantage what is the disadvantage so disadvantage is if angle of cone made smaller and if it is 20 less than a 20 degree the male cone tends to blind or join a female cone it become difficult to disengage okay so that is a disadvantage of uh, cone clutch and other one is it's a small amount of air will be there on the uh, between the cone surfaces okay what is applications where you going to use so this is going to use in a motor boats and the cone clutch is nowadays it's absolute okay so what is a single plate clutch yeah single plate clutch is you know here again the frictional they'll take a frictional plate uh, that frictional plate is going to help between the flywheel and the pressure plates okay and again springs are attached circumferentially which provide a axial force uh, to keep in touch with the engaged positions so again frictional plate is mounted on the hub uh, so that i'll uh, explain with the help of diagram very okay uh, very neatly yeah see uh, you can observe this is a single plate clutch see uh, single plate clutch as i told in the previous slide you will be having a frictional plate here so this frictional plate is placed in between the flywheel and as well as pressure plate okay and this uh, uh, and the springs are attached okay springs are attached in the circumferentially uh, so to uh, to transmit a power okay so next is uh, uh, you know uh, this frictional plate is attached to the frictional lining in the both the side of the uh, both the side of the frictional plate so that it is used to transmit a power faster okay and then this frictional plate will be placed on the hub okay splined on the hub so there is a uh, there is no problem the uh, there is no problem for the uh, clutch shaft to move inside and outside the uh, flywheel okay so uh, then, then if you press here see again if you uh, if you press the pedal so if you press the pedal the fulcrum arm will be accurate means the bearing uh, bearing uh, thrust bearing will be operated so this thrust bearing will press the pressure plate if you press the pressure plate the uh, there is a disengage between frictional plate and pressure plate again which is disengaged between the flywheel and uh, frictional plate if it is engaged so if it is disengaged the clutch will be disengaged so that there is a normal operation will be taking place of engine and as well as transmission shaft so without uh, without circulating the uh, clutch disc okay so if you uh, here uh, i have taken only one single uh, pressure plate if frictional plate if you add uh, more frictional plates so we call it as multi plate clutch okay so multi plate clutch should be taken above the uh, three or more disc plate should be there that is a multi plate clutch okay
So uh, next, what are the advantages? So advantage is easier than the cone clutch, and uh, you know there is a pedal operation. So which is uh, you know there is a pedal operation. So there will be a good uh, gearing gear changing arrangements will be there. So there is no much problem created in the gear changing arrangement here. And uh, in the uh, end, it is it will not suffer like uh, cone clutch. You know cone clutch because uh, uh, because you are not making it a very small like cone like structure. You are making it a big structure. So it's a more reliable. and uh, this the advantage advantage is uh, springs have to be uh, stiff okay mainly stiff because the springs will actuate uh, you know they are uh, you know placed in circumferential manner so the springs are very important thing here so for engaging and disengaging thing and the transfer of forces okay so automotive uh, almost all automotive applications uh, this single plate clutch is going to use so diaphragm clutch so diaphragm yeah uh, so diaphragm clutch is uh, nothing like you know in a, it's just different like uh, coil and uh, helical and coil springs and you don't have a pedal arrangement here okay so whatever the uh, whatever the force is exerted on the driver shaft so that will be taking care of springs okay so that uh, actually that will taking care of coil springs okay and then uh, here the type of springs do not have a constant rate of characteristics like if you place the uh, springs in a diaphragm springs on horizontal the pressure is increases okay if you place it in different location the pressure is keep on decreases okay so diaphragm spring increases you know pressure on the diaphragm spring increases when it is a flat position if it is in different position the pressure on the diaphragm spring is reduces okay and uh, you know the uh, yeah that uh, clutch operation will I'll explain here yeah see here uh, uh, here you have a uh, you know this is a diaphragm a spring so diaphragm spring is at one end is attached to a thrust bearing other end is attached to a pressure plate means you uh, know uh, pressure plate and which is pressure plate is attached to a flywheel so uh, here uh, you can observe a uh, clutch disc and then the springs are placed the springs uh, uh, between a uh, springs between a uh, disc absorb shock and the clutch is engaged okay and you can observe uh, this is a pressure plate this is a conical shape of pressure plate so so conical shape of pressure plate so that the diaphragm the springs can able e can easily attach uh, the pressure plates and uh, you you can observe the slots are uh, made on the diaphragm spring so this slots is act as a springs okay this slots is act as a springs circumferentially they are made uh, so radially they are made and it acts as a uh, springs and which it attach to a thrust bearing which is attached to a so thrust bearing and which is used to transmit the power okay so yeah this is actually a engage and disengage position of a, a diaphragm single plate clutch so these are the different parts of a, uh, a diaphragm single plate clutch okay so uh, how it is engaged and how it is disengaged see uh, there is a, a pivot rings here okay one uh, springs uh, you know the clutch engage position means the spring pivots on a inner pivot ring as it is held on a clutch cover so that outer ring contact with the pressure plate that i'll show you in the next slides okay clearly and then here the conical position of a springs exerts so through the pressure plate to keep the pressure plate in a firm contact with clutch plate and flywheel okay so when uh, pedal is uh, depressed the linkage more released the during towards the flywheel to disengage the clutch so as bearing contact with inner position of the conical springs it moves the position forward which causes the link to move down move downward okay that i'll show you yeah so this is a engaged position and this is a disengaged position as i already told the pressure plates are in a conical shape so that the spring can able to easily come and attach with the pressure plate so that transfer of power is, is easier so uh, yeah, here uh, you will be having a rarer pivots so the springs are uh, attached with the inner uh, pivot ring inner pivot ring so the rarer pivot ring is going to attach with a pressure plate so that uh, is uh, rigidly attached with the pressure plates so that it it make a assemble it make engage position so it make engage position of the uh, clutch so if you want to disengage the position you will be having a uh, you know conical shape springs so that will push forward the throat bearing so that there is a you know uh, interlink there is a uh, interlink you know there is a interrupt taking place between the pivot ring and pressure plate if it is taking place pivot ring you know if it is a uh, dis, you know interrupt taking place between a pivot ring and pressure plate so that there is a disengage between uh, clutch and pressure plate if it is a disengage between clutch and power plate the clutch will be disengaged so uh, the engine will move in, engine shaft will crankshaft will move without rotating the clutch plate okay so this is the working principle of your uh, diaphragm 
okay so diaphragm clutch is a ma major advantage you going you're not going to use any lever so if you are not going to use any lever it it, it like it you know uh, uh, it's like a compact in a compact in a storage energy so uh, this is lost you know uh, the effect of centrifugal force is very less here okay hence it is uh, hence it is in a, in a large uh, size you can't able to use this in a uh, two wheeler and you, you should be use this in a heavy duty trucks and you can't able to use for small to uh, small trucks because the torque transmission is more okay huge amount of trans tra transmission that's why you have to use it for heavy duty trucks so multi plate clutch okay so uh, multi plate clutch uh, like it is working principle is same as that of single plate clutch so uh, but uh, why it you call it as a multi plate clutch because in the multi plate clutch you will be having a 3 or more disc are preferred in the clutch okay 3 or more uh, centrifugal clutch uh, sorry single plate clutches are um, disc are placed in the uh, clutch arrangement okay so if you increase the number of uh, plates uh, frictional surfaces in contact also increase the capacity of the clutch to transmit the power okay so hence uh, the clutches are most commonly in a two wheeler or uh, multi plate clutches okay so three uh, wheeler or multi plate clutches you going to use because it is a compact in size you can go going to use and construction is similar to your uh, normal uh, single plate clutch and working principle is also same to the normal uh, you know normal single plate clutch so but here uh, uh, there are a uh, uh, clutch plate arrangement is very very important so it consists of inner and uh, uh, inner drum and outer drum so inner drum which is preferred to a clutch shaft means which is mounted on a clutch shaft and number of plates is planed to the outer surface other drum is coupled to a flywheel that i will show you in the next next ppt next slide so which is uh, attached to a flywheel so which carry a number of plates which planted on the inner surface so both are in alternative arrangement so you can easily uh, plates can revolve with the drum as well as it can uh, uh, slide axially the spring keeps you know uh, that i'll show you okay yeah see uh, uh, as that you know we have uh, seen that uh, you know, we studied that three or more uh, clutch plates are used see here there are three plates are placed on the uh, clutch shaft so other four is placed on the flywheel so this is inner drum and this is outer drum so these are uh, alternatively placed so you can slide easily in and out okay so and here in the bottom side also same uh, you will be having a three are placed on the uh, clutch shaft and the other four are placed on the uh, flywheel so these are alternative place placed so there is no chances of uh, you know uh, disengage the thing so you can easily operate and it, it can the, the shaft can easily slide in and slide out the things okay and that working principle is same as that of your single plate clutch okay so advantage as i already told it's a compact in size and you can going to use this in a, a normal two wheeler and scooter vehicles okay and it can transmit a more power but there is a wear and tear is more in the multi plate clutch so centrifugal semi centrifugal clutch see this semi centrifugal clutch is working on a centrifugal force okay centrifugal force which is assisted to a high speed okay so here uh, uh, you know to reduce the effort of driver which operates with the help of uh, you know centrifugal force here the complete driver effort is going to taking away with the help of centrifugal force this centrifugal semi centrifugal clutch helps taken by a centrifugal force by keeping another weight another weight in eccentric position that i will show you in the next slide okay the springs are uh, you know designed to transmit as, as usual springs are designed to transmit a power in normal speed if it is going to high speed there are a weights okay weights are weight lever hang to a three different points at the regular intervals so lever is provided with a fulcrum connected to a clutch that i will show you okay and if you increase the speed uh, that i will show yeah so this is a centrifugal uh, semi centrifugal clutch you can observe at the bottom side the clutch springs are works on a low speed you can observe at the uh, topper side the weight which works on high speed so if the engine is running at a low speed so that uh, that power transmission will be taking place with the help of clutch spring if it is increases again the fulcrum means the weight which works on a high speed okay so this is placed in an eccentric manner in different three locations okay so this weight is complete you know it, it is attached to a clutch plate with the help of uh, you know, springs so attached to a clutch plate with the help of springs so this is the working principle of your uh, centrifugal semi centrifugal clutch advantages so speed is increases okay and less fatigue on the driver 
but uh, the you know disadvantage is uh, you should be larger moment of the leverage mechanism because uh, the leverage mechanism is attached to a weight so that fulcrum arm is uh, work with the help of clutch plate if the speed is very high that is a lever uh, you know uh, lever arrangement mechanism so uh, this uh, application is used when a uh, very high heavy trucks which is powered with a high engine high powered engines centrifugal clutch yeah so centrifugal clutch you can observe the point a is a weight of the uh, weight thereby operating the crank uh, crank lever bell so this crank lever bell press the plate d so this plate d will be actuated with the help of springs will be actuated with the help of springs and then plate d connect the uh, frictional lining so thus plate d press the uh, press against the frictional lining okay against the frictional lining over the flywheel so thereby clutch is engaged okay if you want to keep if you want to keep this uh, spring g in a you know disengaged position at a very low speed means it is around 500 500 rpm ho oh, the stop h okay this stop h the uh, amount of centrifugal force okay means this g will be operating with a 500 rpm this stop h will h will be operating with a higher higher uh, speed of the engine so what are the advantages advantages is directly proportional to the you know centrifugal force is directly proportional to the square of the speed so the you know the clutch operation is very smoother so there is no separate clutch pedal is required here and less fatigue to the driver so usually mopeds luxurious cars and suitable you know warm automatic transmission system you going to use centrifugal clutch transmission because uh, based on the based on the speed you you have to engage the clutch okay so next uh, wet clutch yeah wet clutch are always wetted by as oil circulations so uh, this suitable only for small truck and sufficient torque can be obtained with the help of single plate so thermal assistance means because of oil distribution is poor so that's why you required a thermal limitations uh, over the frictional surfaces so oil flow requirement for wet clutch is uh, very considerably depending upon the application of the fuel application on the efficiency of the grooving pattern of the clutch plate so advantages less wear especially because you're going to use a oil and smooth operation because you're going to uh, compare to dry clutch and cooled by engine heat can uh, in a larger heat can be uh, carried away with the help of clutch plate so tolerates slipping during initial clutch take off okay and cheaper in manufacture so oil needs to be circulated that is another disadvantage because continuously oil you have to supply okay so due to rotation of clutch oil uh, may lose you know oil oil then the engine loses some horsepower okay so it used in a uh, application trucks okay used in trucks so next electromagnetic clutch so electromagnetic clutch is uh, working with the help of uh, uh, due to uh, electric charges or magnetic forces okay so uh, electromagnetic you know its initial condition the clutch will be disengaged position so if there is a air gap between the two rub, rotor and a rub so first engine start which makes rot rotates the rotor connected with the engine shaft a dc battery supplies dc current into your clutch winding so the this high voltage dc current converts the winding into electromagnet which attract armature towards it so this armature forces the friction plate towards the rotor and make rotate the hub okay so hub rotate as we shall transmit the power okay so the thing see you can observe uh, there is a engine and there is a gearbox here okay there is a armature there is a hair gap so if uh, if you you know if this air gap you know electric winding will be placed so th this is due to electromagnetic action electromagnetic action so this armature and electric winding is going to attach so this air gap will be reduces and then uh, there, there is a transmission of power will taking place from engine to gearbox okay so the hydraulic clutch see hydraulic clutch you have a, a reservoir hydraulic reservoir and piston and cylinder arrangement you have a pedal arrangement if you press a pedal okay if you press a pedal uh, uh, this uh, the this inlet wall i means exhaust wall of the reservoir will be open so there is a liquid will be flow into a main cylinder again if you press back if you press back this it cylinder you know this wall will be closed and then whatever the uh, uh, liquid is there in the cylinder that will be push back to a uh, that will be push out so that with the help of this uh, this lubrication oil or th this lubrication oil the single plate the, the, you know the clutch plate will start working so you can observe a st you know stave cylinder and springs so with the help of this the clutch fork start working so this is uh, working principle is same but you you are you're going to use a hydraulic 
you know hydraulic fluids here to work the hydraulic clutch okay small operation okay so uh, here uh, similar operation your fluid coupling is also working so one is a uh, you know impeller other one is a uh, turbine so uh, like so driving force and driven force so driving force is going to drive in the different direction and driven force is driving in a different direction so with the help of you know impeller start uh, rotating with the help of uh, driving force so which will give a liquid to rotate so that liquid will be flowing over the turbine so that the turbine is also start rotating and this is how uh, this is how energy is transmitted from one part of the body to other part with the help of with the help of fluid so that is what the fluid coupling that is what we have explained here so fluid coupling is also known as hydraulic coupling is a hydrodynamic devices which is used to transmit a rotational power from one shaft to other shaft by the fluid okay so this is the explanations whatever i have given in the previous slides okay so these are the uh, you know clutch frictional materials so asbestos you will be having a coefficient of friction is 0.2 cork and 0.32 leather 0.27 cotton fabric is 0 0.40 so these are the clutch materials we going to use in the uh, clutch manufacturing the things